Welcome back to the channel everyone, Skitch on Wheels here. Today I'm going to do some cold weather riding. We're going to head up to the very tip top of the Smoky Mountains. Elevation is 6,600 feet. I'm going to see what it looks like up and around that area. I know we're kind of at the end of uh, the leaf change right now. There's still some orange and brown colors. I couldn't get out here earlier. Uh, I still think it's going to be nice getting up there and taking a look around. It's going to be a brisk day. It's going to be 30 some degrees up on top. So the trip today is uh, about two hours to get there. Ooh, that sun is bright. I do have a visor that's darker. It blocks the sun. I've been riding my other bike, the Himalayan, to work so much and I, I leave at night. Uh, 8 o'clock or so and when I leave work at night the uh, the dark visor just doesn't get it I can't see very well so I changed it to the clear visor but clearly was not thinking about today heading out into the sun a fellow traveler so up and down this side both sides are these rhododendrons and I don't know when they bloom I think it's different at different elevations um, but as many years as I've lived in this area 13 now uh, as many times as I've been in this park I've never seen them bloom so I'm probably missing out on that with all the leaves down, I kind of expect to see a bear because they're so plentiful around here. Not that I'll be able to see one on my own and spot it and pick it out, but usually if there's a bunch of cars pulled over on the side of the road um, and everybody's out taking pictures, they're a bear.
Yeah, this is really pretty through here. There's a whole lot more color right here. We're headed down to the little town of Gatlinburg, and I think because it's at the base or the lower level of the Smokies, it might be a little bit more colorful. The top area where it's cold, I'm sure it's kind of bare. Yeah, you can't beat this. I just got the clutch in and I'm I'm just cruising. I'm letting it coast down the mountain. We've got about 2.2 miles till our turn off. I had to put it in gear just to wave to that biker. <laughs> Didn't want to be rude. All right, finally on the road to Klingman's Dome. Yeah, we can tell we're headed up now. We got about 12 miles till the turn. And then probably about six miles on Klingman's Dome Road or four miles, something like that. Ooh, dude, that's nice. So see in the valley, it's nice and pretty. I don't know what this guy's doing, but I'm getting away from him. It's nice filming today. Hopefully my dad will watch these videos. Um, I think his favorite place is the Smoky Mountains or any national park actually. Um, he likes to get out in nature and he's unable to do that anymore. So maybe he'll be able to watch some of this video and uh, remember the times that he's been in the Smoky Mountains and actually been on this road probably I'd say four or five times at least and maybe who knows maybe he'll be able to get to Knoxville again and we can get him into the mountains again So here's one of our favorite stops. Probably notice it in a couple of our videos. Looks a whole lot different today than the last time I was here when everything was green. Smile. Wasn't a very good photo bomb, but into the darkness. I gotta do it, gotta do it. This is always one of my favorite turns. 360 degrees through the tunnel and then across the top. Just a constant turn. You hope everybody stays on their side of the road. 
and we're probably 270 360 there we are right across the top yeah this is where we start making pretty good attack here on the mountain and putting some elevation behind us yeah we're bare everywhere up here that's still really nice really pretty ride so once you hit this tunnel you know you're close to the top So we're at Newfoundland's Gap. I've got some pictures there. I've got some video there. You can look at my uh, mountains and mountain coaster video. Um, be a link up here or over here or there. I don't know which way. But anyway, oh, here we are. Clingman's Dome to the right. Seven miles still. Wow, I'm gonna get cold. But anyway, the link to the video, mountains and mountain coasters, Teresa and I went to Newfoundland's Gap. Okay, it said the road's closed, but it said December 1st. <laughs> I didn't want to come all the way up here and turn around. So anyway, that other video has us going here to Newfoundland's Gap. Nice big expanse you can see a little bit of it right there but really nice um, I do need to stay on my side of the road but really nice views up there uh, from that video and we rode a mountain coaster took our video on that it was fun to do we haven't been back yet we said we wanted to go ahead and ride another one do one at night but we just haven't gotten around to it in it here I can see the the fog above my head or mist of a cloud or whatever it is but yeah so I'm not crazy uncomfortable but I'm also only doing 40 um, am I cold yeah I'm cold
And just like that, you're at the top. Get up top of Klingman's Dome. Let's turn around the camera and take a look and see what the view's like. You in here, Zoe? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yeah, you are an artist when it comes to wrapping. You did that all by yourself? What are you doing? Here. What kind of gifts? Birthday. It's her birthday? Oh, she's gonna be so happy.